You're watching WeAreParentsTalk.com and we've got another health tip for you today. My name is Andrea Howick. Dietitian Kim Airy is back with us today. Hi, Kim. Hi, Andrea. How are you? Good, thank you. Except when I'm in the cereal aisle. It can be a very overwhelming place for a parent. It sure can. Can you help us navigate what we should be looking for on the labels of cereal? Well, I think the first thing we want to remember, I have a lot of clients coming in and they're only looking at the nutrition facts panel. That would be just that information yeah, okay, right there. Yeah. And the fun thing about the nutrition facts panel is that it tells you in a nutshell, in a snapshot, what nutrition is mm -hmm. there. You want to remember though that the serving size is the most important thing and the first thing to look at. Okay. Because it's going to be different for every cereal. Interesting. So it's something like a half a cup or could be a cup, could be half a cup. Okay. Some cereals even give the nutrient value with the milk added. Mm -hmm. Some don't. Mm -hmm. So you want to check that out okay. as well. Good information. The next thing you want to remember to look for on the nutrient facts panel, and I think it's the thing that confuses most people, is the sugars. And remember that the sugars on the nutrient facts panel include natural sugars and added sugars. And is that okay? I mean, how should we... That's fine, but it just doesn't... T you can't assume it's all added sugar. Okay. Good so what know. you have to do then is go back and read the ingredient list to find out how much sugar has been added to your product. Oh, you mean that list of chemicals with weird names I can't pronounce. <laughs> yeah, and you want to remember that on that list, the ingredient that's the first one on the list, that's what's going to be the most in your product, and the one that's the last on the list is the least. Mm -hmm. And so then you can look for sugar on that, mm -hmm. and sugar usually is anything ends in OSE. So glucose, sucrose, fructose would all be examples of sugar. And would they add multiple different to one product usually? They could. And a lot of them make claims now, for example, whole grains. Is that a good yes. guideline? or That's a good guideline, whole grains. And another good guideline would be fiber, high in fiber. Okay. Because we're looking, most Canadians are not consuming enough fiber. So those claims are also regulated. And so only foods with specific amounts of nutrients can have those claims. Kim Mary, thank you for joining us. Thank you. Talking about reading labels in the cereal aisle, another health tip on whereparentstalk.com.